Welcome, everyone, and hello, Brooklyn. Uh, my name is John Abamondi. I'm the CEO of BSC Global, which is the parent company of the Brooklyn Nets and Barclays Center, where we're standing here today. Uh, I'm excited to bring everyone together for an important announcement. Uh, I want to thank Governor Kathy Hochul for joining us today, Lieutenant Governor Brian Benjamin, uh, also our special guest. We have Brooklyn Nets player Bruce Brown, New York Liberty players Dee Dee Richards, and Madai Jelani. Thank you for joining us as well. Uh, and a big round of applause for our special guests, the students from Ascend Public Charter Schools. Thank you all for being here. So here at the Nets and the Liberty and, and Barclays Center, we are very focused on creating a safe and enjoyable environment for all of our fans. And we know that the COVID-19 vaccines are one of the most important tools for us to do that. Uh, the FDA's approval of the COVID-19 vaccine for children ages 5 to 11 is a really major step in fighting this virus. Um, and those vi vaccines only work if we actually use them. And so we at our company are trying to do everything we can in, in partnership with our friends at the state uh, to encourage the use of those vaccines. And, and before I turn it over to the governor to share today's announcement, I just want to say thank you to both the governor and Lieutenant Governor Brian Benjamin, who uh, this, this idea really stemmed from an idea that he had with Joe and Clara Sai, the owners of the Brooklyn Nets and the New York Liberty, just over a week ago. And I think it's an example of how quickly and efficiently state and government and private industry can work together to make great things happen. So without any further ado, I'll turn it over to the governor. Thank you. So strange not to see more crowds in here, but hi kids, how you doing? Really good? This is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I thought so, I thought so. Uh, John, first of all, John Avamani, I wanna thank you for your true leadership, not just as the exe Chief Executive Officer of the Brooklyn Nets, but also for the way that you have really stepped up the entire organization, uh, Barclays, the Nets, Liberty, to step up and really be a partner to the community during the pandemic. This place was used for testing, for vaccinations, for a food bank during the worst days of the pandemic when it was just a really, really hard time. And so you've really proven yourselves to be uh, true leaders in our community. I wanna thank all of you. Uh, so let's give you all a round of applause, of applause here. Uh, I'm also joined by my Lieutenant Governor. Do you know what a, a Lieutenant Governor is? That's all right, I didn't know what one was before I came one either, that's all right. That's, that's like the number two person in the entire state of New York. Let's give a round of applause to Lieutenant Governor Brian Benjamin. And he has a brand new baby at home, so that's pretty exciting. Left a little baby, isn't that fun? Little baby at home, uh, little Olivia and his wife Kathleen and little girl Caroline. So we're happy you could make the time, even though things are very exciting at home. We are so fortunate to have some of our superstar athletes who play right here on this court. We have Bruce Brown, the guard forward for the Brooklyn Nets. Let's give him a round of applause. Benajah Blaney, also the guard and forward for New York Liberty, who is uh, one of the most improved players, all defensive team 2020 for the WNBA. Let's give her a round of applause. And Dee Dee Richards, guard forward for New York Liberty as well, one of the breakout stars, WBCA Defensive Player of the Year. So we have some really good athletes here. Let's give them a super, super round of applause. Well, today I'm taking my COVID briefing on the road. It's a lot more exciting than being in the office all the time. And I love to come out and see the kids. And I also know that this is the first event to be held on your brand new floor. So we all made sure I wore our shoes so I wouldn't scuff them up, okay? So we're, we're very careful about that. So what, what I wanna do is uh, first of all highlight what's going on with the pandemic here in the state of New York. And one thing I can tell you, my friends, we will not take our eye off the ball. We are watching what is happening in other places around the world. We're seeing the number of cases spike in places like Europe. In the second half of October, more than half of the world's new cases were reported in Europe. What scares me the most is that in a place like Great Britain, half of the new cases are children under the age of 15 because they are not vaccinated. And this dramatic rise is because of that, and we see that the weather is starting to change, more people are going indoors. We want to make sure that all of our children are safe. Do you kids want to be safe? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So how are we going to keep you safe? You're going to take your shot, right? We're going to take your shot. You're all going to get your vaccine. It's going to be very cool. 
Anybody who gets a vaccine is really a superhero to me, and I know you're going to do that as soon as it's allowed. So literally today, in Washington, D.C., our capital, there's people meeting at a place called the Center for Disease Control. What is that? They're the ones who are going to okay the authorization, the uh, approval for children ages 5 to 11 to receive this life-saving vaccine. So we are very, very excited that this is going to be available soon. We've been getting ready here in the state of New York. We have been talking to pediatricians, doctor's offices, the pharmacies, the drugstores, the places they're going to be able to give this to you, as well as you can get the shots right here. Wouldn't that be cool to get it done right here? I think so, too. I think so, too. And we're working with our schools. So far, 60% of all the schools of New York, school districts, have said that they're willing to do the vaccinations on site, so it makes it easier for families. A lot of the schools will be directly communicating with the parents as well. So we've been waiting for this. We announced more pop-up sites. What do you think of a pop-up site? Sounds kind of fun, doesn't it? It kind of pops up, and all of a sudden it's there. I like this stuff, too. So we have, we said we're going to put up 120. We actually put up 146 pop-up sites, so it's a lot easier for families. So I want to thank the Department of Health for all their great work on that. But what happens next? We have to work with trusted allies. You know what that means? It's your parents, it's your friends, it's your neighbors, it's your teachers. And we have to get the word out right now that when this vaccine is available, that every kid says to their mom or dad and their guardian, I want to get the shot. I want to take my shot so I can be safe. I don't want to have to worry about this. So kids, it's coming. You've been hearing about all the adults getting their vaccinations, and maybe some of your older siblings, like age 15 to 17 is okay. But right now, we're just about to hear the news that it's going to be okay for five to 11 year olds. Anybody five to 11 here? Anybody here? All right, well, how about that? How about that? Well, that's very cool. Uh, so we also want to make sure that people aren't telling lies about the vaccine. So we launched something known as Get the Facts campaign to dispel that. We've already had 1,000 people check it out. Look at the facts. This is what the experts, the doctors are saying is our way to get out of this pandemic. So we also have to bring on more trusted ambassadors. Who are trusted ambassadors? In my mind, those are our superstar athletes, the people we look up to the people who do things like play basketball in a way that just excites our fans. They're the ones that I'm trusting with this. Yeah, you're ready to play basketball, aren't you? We're gonna shoot some hoops afterward. So we're launching, we did this with some of our athletes as well. We had uh, our Vax to Win NFL sweepstakes. We were giving away tickets to people who got their vaccinations and they got tickets for the Buffalo Bills, the Giants, the Jets. And we had our players at the press conferences. So now we're taking it to the court. And I'm so delighted to have the participation of our friends at the Brooklyn Nets and the Liberty and make sure that we have a new incentive. So here's the deal, gang. If you get your vaccine here, you go to Barclays Modell's site, you can receive a voucher redeem for two tickets. All you have to do is get the shot and you get two tickets to come watch a game. Does that sound like a good deal? That, that is a great deal. Let's give that a round of applause. I like the sound of that. Uh, you can go to a Nets home game or you can select another event there and you can book this in advance. There's a whole lot of deals. So I want to make sure everybody knows how excited I am. I'm a mom. I would have wanted my kids ages 5 to 11 to get the vaccine to make sure that they are safe. And again, I have to get the word out. This is available very soon. We'll make sure it's there for you. And this is the way we can stop having to wear masks at school, although they look really good on all of you and you can start going where you want. We can start saying that this pandemic that you're gonna someday tell your own kids about is finally over. You're gonna say, I survived the pandemic. I was tough. I got through it. And I survived because I got my vaccine. That's what I want you to tell all your friends, your family. You are what I'm calling the ambassadors. Not just these athletes, not just our basketball players, but all of you as kids to start telling everybody, we are so excited for this. We can't wait to get this done because we want to go out and just be normal kids once again. This is how we do it. The state of New York is ready. And again, I want to thank the Nets and Liberty and everybody for taking their lead here. So what should be a slam dunk, okay? Should be a slam dunk, right? We're going to do this. We're going to have a slam dunk here. Uh, separate announcement, I want to say that to expand our services, we are now making it permanent that this vaccine is available at all pharmacists. It was only temporary. It's supposed to expire in a few months. And we just, I'm signing a bill into law. That's what I do as governor. I sign bills into law to make sure that those are available. So, so the message is, let's all take our shot. 
Let's go play some hoops. Come on up, kids. I, I want you to stand here because you're going to meet somebody. I want to shake his hand when he comes up to the stage. And that is our great Lieutenant Governor, Brian Benjamin. Shake his hand when he comes up. This is a really cool guy. He's a big shot. Well, good, evening. good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Brian Benjamin. I'm the Lieutenant Governor of the State of New York. Honored to serve with our first female governor of the State of New York, Governor Kathy Hochul. Give it, yes, that deserves a round of applause. She's a history-making governor. Uh, you know, when John Abamondi, uh, BSE Global, and Joe and Clear Side, we met last Saturday uh, and talked about this idea of how do we um, take it to the next level? You know, Governor Hochul came in to office and was focusing on making sure that our healthcare workers were, were vaccinated and that we had the mask mandates extended. And we were saying to ourselves, what more can we do? And, you know, uh, John said, well, let's, let's talk about uh, uh, using um, entertainment and using uh, the Brooklyn Nets as an opportunity to help give away tickets. By the way, tickets to good games, to really good games, by the way. So you hold them to that. I, they, they have them on record. This is not just any games. They're talking about the LA Lakers, et cetera. Isn't that what we said, John? <laughs> I'm playing. I'm joking. And also to any other uh, sporting uh, events here. So thank you so much uh, for that. Uh, let me um, just say to um, what the governor's point Number one, you know, we are all in this together. Uh, COVID has killed over five million people across the world. This is one of the most um, horrific pandemics that we have ever seen. And we need all of us working together under great leadership like Governor Kathy Hochul, but all of us being ambassadors together to make sure that we get everyone vaccinated, that we ensure that all of our, our citizens understand the seriousness that's, that's involved. Many of us know people who don't want to get vaccinated. Uh, it's incumbent upon us to speak to them, to talk about the fact that it's not for them, it's for everyone else. When you get vaccinated, you get vaccinated for me. When I get vaccinated, I get vaccinated for you. We are in this together, and that is what we have to uh, sell. But also, quite frankly, I know a lot of people who, if they get an incentive, they'll get vaccinated. And that's part of what we're driving here today, is we're gonna use every single method and opportunity that we can to help get us across the finish line. We want vaccinations up, we want transmissions down, we want hospitalizations down. We want this to be just like the flu, just like uh, any old virus. We do not want any other person to die because of COVID. And so that is what the governor is leading us on. Happy to be her partner. She's asked me to really focus on uh, sort of vaccine equity, uh, community outreach, uh, places where we have to really do that extra step. And this is part of what we're doing here today. So thank you so much to the Nets. Thank you so much to Jill and Claire Sai, and to my governor, Kathy Hochul. Thank you for getting the job done always and being right on it. Let me tell you something about this governor. You call her and say, with an idea, she's ready to go. She's a doer. And I want to thank you for being a doer, and that's what we're doing today. Thank you so much to your, to your kids. You are our future. You are our future, and we will do it together. Let's play some ball. Where's my chili? No, let's play some ball. <laughs> Good work. So uh, before we get to uh, come on the court and play some ball, we have some special jerseys to present for our two new players that we've drafted. Governor Hochul, if you'll come on up. How does this look? Lieutenant Governor Benjamin. Got one for you as well. I guess you guys are squaring off against each other. We've got a little scrimmage here. Thank you very much. And one other, one other person that, or group of people to thank are our friends, uh, the Strokes. Uh, those of you who know, may know, the Strokes are going to be playing a sold-out concert here New Year's Eve, and the Strokes have donated 100 tickets to that concert for this effort as well. So not just about the Brooklyn Nets and New York Liberty basketball, but also about music and entertainment. So thank you to the Strokes. Kids, why don't you come on up? We'll get a picture and then we'll start hooping. <laughs> 